right, it's New Year's Eve, we're on Upper Crooked Lake. It's about two o'clock and we're gonna give it a try for three hours. So I'm gonna plan to start on the east side of the lake, kind of by the school where I did good uh, on my birthday here a couple months ago. And we're gonna try, it's warm and nice today, it's 45 degrees and sunny. Water temperature, I don't know, it's probably 36. So uh, it's cold, but we're gonna try a little bit more aggressive. We're gonna try red eye shad, we're gonna try spinning jerk baits and uh, shad wraps. See if we can get something to go up a little bit shallow first and then we'll move out to points, try blade bait, a rigs and stuff like that. So let's see how smart we are. All right, let's give it a try. Last video of the year. All right, so my plan is to actually start over here in this pocket. This is where I was fishing last time five to ten feet of water. We're gonna try that along the break, see if any of these fish have moved up shallow into this area. And then like I said, we'll work back out and we'll try some of these points and uh, give those a shot, so. That's my plan anyway, let's see what we see on our way out. I didn't mark much of anything except in 40 feet of water I marked what looked like a big pot of bluegill probably and stuff like that. So we'll try this this flat and the drop off edge a little bit um, and then we'll move back over to there and maybe try deep. If that doesn't work we'll try some other spots. But All right let's be overly aggressive for winter time and uh, yeah, hopefully we get lucky. So let's start with this red eye shad. Just a half ounce red eye shad on 20 pound braid and see if we can get anything besides pike here in the first 20 minutes or so. about 15 minutes throwing the red eye shad and not surprisingly nothing bit it so yeah. well, sometimes the bass come up shallow in winter time so I thought we'd give it a try and maybe we'll try it in another spot but let's uh move out a little deeper and try the mega bass vision 110 junior plus one bone color and uh, see if we can catch something on the jerk bait bait a minute and work out towards deeper water and see if we can find anything on the blade bait in this pocket. If that doesn't work we're gonna go where we marked all that fish in 40 feet of water. Over where we found those uh, that deep bait, 40 feet of water, and give that a try with the play bait for a while. We've been fishing for about an hour, almost 45 minutes. So, all right, 40 to 45 feet of water is where I'm marking anything, basically. The deepest part of the lake. Well, we'll give it a try for a little bit. With the blade baits, and maybe a swim bait, whatever else we can cast weight on there, and see if we can get anything to bite.
brother played beat. For a while. How much is gold to Mickey Vault? Gold and black. Oh, I didn't dress warm enough. Um, let's try this point over on the other side. A little shallower. I'm not good at fishing 40 feet. It's probably the first time I've fished 40 or 45 feet before ever. So let's go a little shallower. Try by this uh, point on the other side. See if we see anything over there. Let's try the jerk bait along the drop off. off really quick here so all right we've got about half an hour left and we're just going to work our way back towards the lunch fishing 20 25 30 feet of water with the blade bait see if we can stumble across anything to finish off hopefully catch a fish All right, so that was it on Crooked Lake. Couldn't get anything to go. We tried shallow, we tried deep. I don't usually fish in 45 feet of water, but man, it seems like I was marking stuff once I got to at least 35 to 40 feet. So when the ice comes and you want to try to catch something on Crooked Lake, I would start in 40 feet of water if I were you. But I didn't catch anything, so maybe, maybe you should fish wherever you want. <sighs> wrap on 2021 so thanks for watching click subscribe have a good day